Hey guys, and welcome to day three of Vlogmas. By the way, it's like 1 p.m. I'm starting it so late, I'm sorry, but the theme of today's video is me and my family are going to go to a board game cafe, and I am going to do some like fun, cruelty-free shopping from like this health store in my city that I really love, and it's like downtown, so usually I never go there, but that's also where the board game cafe is, so we're gonna kind of make this a two-in-one, so that'll be fun. I have not opened today's tea yet. I've been waiting, so here we go. Let's see which one it is today. You can like really smell it, it's really fragrant. So, number two, here it is, I found it. <laughs> By the way, the candy cane one yesterday was really good. I saved the tea, I just made one cup out of it and I'm gonna make candy cane kombucha with it. So hopefully it'll be good. Oh my God, Biscuit's popping her little head out. She's so good. Hey Biscuit, oh, we love her. Biscuit, do you wanna come up here? Here we go, she's back in the video. Can we go a video without Biscuit? I don't think so. So she's here now to inspect the tea, see if it's worth it. And let's see what it is. Mm. Oh, cinnamon rubus chai. Perfect, because in yesterday's vlog, I made almond milk and that will go perfect. There we go. Honestly, I'm not the biggest fan of Rubus tea, but because it's cinnamon flavor, I might like it. Oh, biscuit loves it. She wants it. I don't know if you can have this biscuit. So I'm gonna go make that tea, probably cuddle with Biscuit a bit more because she's so good. Okay, see you guys. And one thing that I forgot, because it was seeming like there was a lot of tea in here, so I was like, I don't know if I should use it all. And I was gonna measure it with my teaspoon, but I forgot that you get a free perfect, well, it wasn't free because it was expensive, but you get uh, the perfect spoon and I've always wanted one. It's like perfect amount of tea for a cup of tea. <gasps> it was right there. My just dumb self didn't see it. I'm in the city, oh, it's cold. I don't have a hat, but I have a headband. This is our downtown. I'm like never downtown, but I am today. It's cold. <gasps> Yummy. This is a candy cane supreme latte made with macadamia milk. So I got my drink and now I'm going to look at all their cute stuff. I won't put the focus on me, we'll put the focus on the wonderful healthy living items. Okay, so now I'm gonna be talking about some feminine products so anyone without a uterus can skip ahead about a minute and then we'll be back on track. So here, this is like the main reason I came. I've seen these online and on their Instagram and I really wanted and what they are is cloth pads. So here are the couple I chose. I got like a liner one and then like a heavy day one and funny enough, I actually just started my period and I wanted to get ones because I was never a big fan of the Diva Cup but cloth pads is something especially because I work from home so I don't need to be wearing like tight pants all the time. It's very, very good cheap and also eco-friendly. And I just thought it'd be a good idea, then you don't have to buy that stuff all the time and it's just easier. So I'm really excited. It's like a local company in my province, in my city, so I'm really excited to support them and to try it out. Oh, maybe I'll do a whole video. I was thinking of doing like a natural PMS remedy video for Vlogmas. Would you guys want to see that? I don't know. So excited, they finally have reusable produce bags that are big enough for kale, yay! Charlotte, we are at the Cross the Board Cafe. Right now I'm deciding what I should have. 
for dinner, so it's only four, but, and I have my sushi, but they have like a hummus wrap or like portobello burger, I don't know, it doesn't sound that great, but I'm excited to play the games, I'll show you guys us battling, and I'm really excited about the stuff that I got from Generation Green, that was the store I was just in, because I've been wanting those things for so long, so I'm really excited, yay! I decided to get popcorn because honestly, the other options just weren't that appetizing, I'm gonna eat dinner somewhere else. But, ooh, it's good. This is butter salt popcorn. And luckily enough, the um, powder is vegan, it's dairy free. So, gonna munch on this while my family has some yummy food, and then we're gonna start playing the game. And literally, these are the exact same bowls that we have at home. And like, this is the exact amount that I make at home. Yeah, so, I was like, oh wow, that looks like exactly what you have. Yeah, literally. Okay, so this is the game we're gonna play first. Mary got her burger, mom got her burger, I have my popcorn, <laughs> and we're gonna play this, and then we're gonna play the iconic risk. Because, Mary, are you gonna beat me? Yeah. So we're gonna play the camel game, but it's kinda too confusing, and they use like all these words that don't make sense. So <laughs> instead, we're just gonna play risk. And yeah, and kind of just relax and have fun because that's a game at home where it takes so much time that you don't want to like dedicate to it. But since we're at a board game cafe, that means we can really like just have fun and be like, yeah, we're gonna play the board game. So let's do that. I have the Shiba, Shiba country. Shiba? Japan. Japan. My mom has Japan. Or that's like the lucky place you might win. Mary is so good at games, so I think she's gonna beat us because like every game we play, except for Smash Bros. She beats us. Ooh, you beat me. Winning one of them. <laughs> so Mary's annihilating everyone. She's winning. Um, I'm in second. I'm yellow. Mom is sadly in last. She's gonna win. Um, Mary, it's oh, time yeah. to end. You won. Yes, she is. She's digging over the whole board. Nope. Screw you. Uh, I'm gonna do 3v2. Oh my god. So as you guys saw, Mary totally annihilated us in risk. Whatever, Mary, I'm gonna beat you in this next game. Um, and we are playing a game called Menard. Menara. Menara. I was close. And basically it's kind of like Jenga. You have to build the structure, but I guess no one can really win. Like we all just kind of <laughs> try to build it together. We all win or we all win Collect collectively. If I win, that means Mary wins. That sucks. You're playing an escape room game oh that honestly I'm not that good at. <laughs> I'm just gonna eat my crab. Here it is. It's really yummy. This one's called Pump Up the Yam. It has yam. It has tofu. It has maple syrup. Um, it has vegan mayo. And yeah, it's the vegan dough, so it should be good. I and then go home and head to bed. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. It was really fun going to the board game cafe. I want to show you guys because I think it's something kind of unique to our city. Like it's not that common. So I will see you later and I'll see you tomorrow for Vlogmas day number four. See you later, love you. Biscuit, I'm home. Mama's home. Baby. Biscuit! Hi! 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 Going to the cat food? Biscuit! Biscuit! Hi! 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 I miss you too! I miss you too! Oh! Crazy Sheba! Okay, let's go pee pee outside, okay? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Whoa.
Licky Biscuits, mommy! Good girl! Okay, let's take you out, Dippy. And I realized that I had not yet shown our Christmas tree, so here you guys go. It's not fully decorated yet. The angel isn't on top, but it's looking pretty so far. And Biscuit's Bark Box is under the tree. So hopefully she warms up to the tree. <laughs>